I know The Fast and the Furious is a big Fano. The franchise has been going for years. So mm -hmm. what's it like being the new kid on the block? It, it didn't feel like the new kid on the block. They, it was super welcoming. And, you know, even though I'm playing the villain, like, Michelle was so loving and giving, and Charlize was amazing. That was my first scene with her, which was it was terrifying, but she was just so giving and she's just such a pro. Uh, Vin, cool as hell. Like, everyone was... I, I didn't get to meet everyone. Like, I met Statham before, but I didn't get to see him during mm. this. And uh, Ludacris was just, like, kind of geeked out. So. Mm. Yeah. so it's not like the the lunch hour and, and everyone who's worked together on these films over the years is sitting in one corner and you're sitting there on a no. table by yourself. No, they would come in, friends. even if they, like, Tyrese was beautiful. He would, he, we didn't work together, but he'd come in and mm. just, and like, hang out and we'd get to see him on set, so. Nice. Yeah. Is it more fun playing a hero or playing a villain? I mean, playing the villain's the best. Why? Because you'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels like, you know what, it felt like you could be more theatric with it too. Yeah, yeah, you, you do. And you get to do stuff that you're not allowed to do. And you get to play, a, you know, I don't necessarily sit by those values and I don't follow that way. So it's, I'm playing someone that I don't agree with. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's, that's, that's fun. It's, you know, that's what I signed up for. Are you a car guy? I'm more of a motorcycle guy. Mm. But I love cars. So, so... What were the stunts like? How much did they let you do? Uh, I'd say about 80% of the of the uh, motorcycle stuff I did. But there's a lot that, you know, my buddy Joe, um, he had to do just because if I got hurt, the movie would be over. Or yeah. that part of it would be over. So um, 80%, I'd say. That's pretty impressive. Um, <clears throat> I know everyone will have asked you about New Zealand. Tell mm. me about the connection you feel as someone from Hawaii, the connection you feel to Aotearoa. Well, I just feel really connected just because, A, we're the same race. So Māori and Kanaka Māori are the same, um, you know, same dialect, everything. You know, I mean, it's our same same language. Um, aside from that, I mean, I take a, a great pride in, you know, we were a kingdom that were overthrown, illegally overthrown, and still is occupied. And um, for, for, you know, Māori's are the first ones, the first indigenous like race to ever defend themselves against the white man to sign a treaty, to truly have that. Um, I think the, the Kiwis and people who take pride, you take pride and know the language and understand that is beautiful because it just doesn't happen where I come from. And so there's a lot of um, beauty in both cultures like growing together. And um, it's the greatest rugby team in the world. Uh, it's the most diverse ecosystem in the world, aside from having desert, which we're all leading to that anyways. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's, um, for someone who's an outdoorsman, it was, it was a heaven for me, like to be able to go to surf, to, you know, to be from summit to sea, uh, you know, snowboard and be in the, and surf and rock climb and just these mountains here. So, uh, that's, and I think when I landed here, just like the feeling that shot through my body when I was here, I was like, oh, I've been here in a past life or my, my, my people have been here. Mm -hmm ancestors have been here and I went back to Hawaii so mm -hmm. I just have a deep deep connection that's unexplainable so Tēnā koe thank you so much for your time yeah, enjoy man. the rest of your time in New Zealand we hope thank to you see very you much. soon did a great job brother oh, thanks man